Hello everyone, Mr. Zaz here with another video. <clears throat> well, the life after Tyson Fury in the Yonte Wilder 2. Well, there are different fights on, and today we are talking about Lucas Brown and uh, Apti Datiev. Uh, because Otto Wallen has pulled out from the fight. Rumor is it's you know it's not hundred percent sure. Um, he has hand injury. Uh, from one side, I think this is playing out in favor favor of Lucas Brown because he's getting a fight with someone who says you know it looks good you know twenty fights. Uh, but um, yeah, his opponent has twenty fights, nineteen knockouts. So you know could be next to Deontay Wilder. But <laughs> well, this guy's even a bigger can crusher. Uh, so, so here we are, and uh, yeah, Lucas Brown is taking on Apti Datiev. Mm, what can we say about this fight? Well, Apti Datiev is 30 years old, 6'4", boxer says he's 6'5", but he's not. And one thing for sure we know Lucas Brown is 6'5". Um, and lots of people would really favor Datiel to win this fight. And I was like, yeah, I would I would go with that too. But then I kind of did my small research in in last few fights, and that's true. He hasn't really faced no one good, and only in the last four fights he has faced anyone um, anyone with any notable record. And so I decided, you know what, I gonna just dive in and I gonna see how these fights played out. And after seeing two fights, and I gonna link them in, and the links are gonna be in the description, I really changed my mind. And the single reason is, um, if you go guys to the box deck and you see the, you know, the star rating for the fights, you're gonna find out that Lucas Brown has been in, you know, much better fights. Uh, he's been in three star fights. Okay, it's been some time ago. Okay, it's fair enough. It was 2013, seven years ago. Uh, he fought Travis Walker. He fought Richard Towers, which is a, a undefeated fighter, but <laughs> by that time, uh, and uh, what who else? Uh, Ruslan Chaginov and uh, Andrei Rudnenko. Another fight. Um, of course, he had a fight with Dylan White. He lost that one. Ugh. Yeah, that was a bad fight. Let's be honest. That was a bad fight, and it was very poor performance. Uh, yeah, after that, he, what, he fought, had a good fight with Dave Allen. He was winning that one till he got stopped. And now we are back to Apti Datiev. And what can I say about him? The last like notable fights, he was fighting a guy named Keith Barr, who was six foot on on spot, six foot cruiserweight. And in this fight, Keith Barr is twenty fights, eight KOs, thirteen losses. Um, I just noticed that that he is not using jab. He's not controlling distance. And many times, even Keith, who is six foot, uh, he's not six foot, I'm sorry, he's 5'11 actually, was able to land one, two, three shots, and then he got some shots back. So pretty much, Datiev is not using any jab, he's not moving around, he's just standing there, kind of bit leaning back, taking the shots on his arms, and then answering back. So it's just shot, shot, and two shots back. And he's been doing this constantly. He's he's been doing this constantly. So another another fight with uh, Daniel Martis Martis. Um, I think uh, he was doing the same thing. Only Martis was quite uh, tall. He was six seven. So when it really comes down to this type of fights. What I'm saying is, um, I actually think Lucas Brown will gonna win this one. That's exactly what I'm saying. Uh, the last fight was John Nippar. He's same thing, six foot, uh, 
brilliant record, 21 fights, 15 KOs, has fought absolutely no one. Um, and you can see this fight on YouTube. Same thing, a guy who's six foot easily lands shots, nice shots, and guy who's six four. And it just comes down to the question that we know Lucas Brown is old, he's slow or whatever. But if you're gonna give Lucas Brown a nice juicy shot to land on <laughs> that hill, it could be all out. And now we we are talking about someone who's big, bit little bit bigger than that hill. Maybe not that quick, but these guys are small. Uh, he's been facing in the past, so that's not really the factor. And this is the reason why I think Lucas gonna win this fight. Because it really all comes to down, can Lucas land the shot, but his opponent is just standing there. And we already know that Lucas is big banger. So, I'm gonna be honest, I would say that Lucas, in my eyes, he's a favorite. Because, that year, I mean, <laughs> when you look at the last few fights, he's stepping up, but he's not using jab at all. He's not using jab, he's not moving around, he's just stationary target. Well, in this case, it's just gonna be a slugfest, and I think Lucas will gonna pull this one off. I think this is an interesting matchup. Uh, definitely, whoever gonna win this fight, you know, gonna move a bit forward in their lives. Uh, but, uh, honestly, just just watching, re-watching the fights, I, I don't think that he has enough into him to win it. That's about it. Anyway, guys, leave your thoughts below. Remember to subscribe. And uh, see you next time. Mr. Zass out.